Welcome Golf Shop Online as I'm answering your questions about golf balls that you've been sending to us. Kick it off on how much should you spend on golf balls? Well, if price was no object, you would all go more up to the premium side of golf balls. The performance of these is better overall than these, but they're much more expensive. So subject to how much you play, how much enjoyment, how seriously you want to take it, I get it, these will be too expensive. So you've got to work out what you want, total performance, or a good performance, which say these two offer and many other brands in this middle bracket, but at a reasonable price. So you're gonna make that ultimate decision. When it comes to brand of golf balls, obviously we've got Titleist, which have been around making golf balls, pioneering golf balls for years. We've got TaylorMade coming up through, producing some great golf balls. Trixon have made great golf balls for years as well. They make premium balls at a slightly, maybe affordable price. Each brand will have a same bracket of golf balls. So each brand will have its premium ball, top price. Each uh, brand will have its medium ball, and then it will have its budget ball. And to be fair, they will all perform very, very similar. Then you get some funky designs that lots more golf balls are doing now, which might sway you more towards one manufacturer than the other. Maybe try a few different ones, see which ones you get on with better, see which ones you like the sound and the feel of as you play, which ones you lose a little bit less. But it doesn't matter which out of the top brands you go for, I think you're gonna be able to find something that suits your needs. Now, when it comes to firm or soft, each golf ball will have a different feel factor. Um, that's again built in there for people's ears, their feel, their ideas of soft is better around the green and firm might be better for off the tee. They're not actually true, to be fair, the softer the golf ball, generally the slower it goes. So I would stay more on the firmer side of golf balls personally. But again, every brand will make a ball that feels the way the consumer will want it to feel. And the last question we get asked, a huge question, should you change balls from winter to summer? Because obviously the balls in the winter will stop easily. Maybe when it's wet or in the summer, you want that maximum spin, you might go up to the top end. I personally would change balls from winter to summer, sometimes subject to how many I lose. It's easier to lose balls in the winter. They plug, they go under leaves, that kind of stuff. Do you want to be losing expensive ones? Probably not. But bear in mind, if you do change golf balls, if you go from a expensive, so premium bracket and move into a middle range or a lower range, you are going to see a difference in performance of say your pitch shots and short irons into greens. And that doesn't just mean stopping power, that I mean flight, it'll launch differently, it'll go different distances because there'll be different spin. So for me personally, I wouldn't, I would stay in the premium. I think if I was playing as a hobbyist golfer, I would move down the pay grade just because I don't want to lose them. If I was paying for them, I don't. In the winter, get some cheaper ones.